All right guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to work your clutch in multiple riding situations. Doesn't matter what kind of motorcycle you have. It could be an adventure bike, motocross bike, sport bike, Harley. This will apply to all those bikes. And what's great about these methods is it'll make you ride better. You'll use less energy with your left hand. It'll make your bike more responsive and enjoyable to ride. All right, if you have a cable clutch, first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your cable tension set correctly using this piece right here. Now what you want is you want a gap between the lever and the perch. This is called the perch. And you want that gap to be about the distance of a penny. You don't want the, there to be no gap at all. That means your cable's probably too tight and that'll allow your clutch to slip. And if you have a bigger gap like this, that means you have too much free play in your cable and you wanna take this here, adjust it out and take out that free play. You can see here on my Africa Twin, I upgraded to the Magura hydraulic clutch. It's got a little dial right here to adjust it. And uh, you know, look at this, there's just very little free play in that. So this technique is super easy. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna use all four of your fingers to pull your clutch in and pull it in all the way to the grip. There's no reason for that when the clutch technically disengages when you pull it in about halfway. So what works really great is you put the outer two fingers around the grip and you use your other two fingers, your index finger and your birdie finger, and you use those to work your clutch like this. And what happens is I pull the clutch in, it stops moving because the lever is hitting my outer two fingers. Even if you use shorty levers, the end of the lever will still hit this finger. So this is all the motion you need to make your clutch work properly. Now the great thing about this, especially in motocross, or if you're riding a sport bike in the twisties, you can still work your clutch, but you've got a great grip on your handle grip still. If you're doing this and you're riding motocross and you're bouncing around or hitting you know, turns on a street bike, you've got less stability on your handlebar. So this way here, you've always got a good grip on your handlebars. Another thing that's great about this method is, you know, if you've got the clutch pulled all the way in, look how much travel there is there. So when you're at a red light, you've got this way in here, you go to take off, you got all this way you gotta go before you take off. So this way, you've got it right here, when you go to take off, bam, it's ready to go. Now what I do when I get up to red lights is I'll pull in the clutch, and um, you know, when it gets ready to turn green, I'll actually let the clutch out till I start to feel a bind in the motor. So when it does turn green, I just burp, take off. I don't have a long ways to let out, before it starts to disengage. I get it right to the point where the motor is engaging, the clutch is engaging, and then you just let it out. Another great thing about this technique is if you do rev matching, what rev matching is, is as you're downshifting and slowing down, you pull the clutch in, downshift, give the throttle a little blip, and then you let it out really fast. Burn, burn, burn. If you're doing this, burn, burn, you got all that travel there, that's, it's just wasted energy and you're gonna overwork your hand. Um, if you ride motocross, you can get arm pump. No matter what bike you ride, you're just getting more of a workout doing this versus this. Now, some people might think, well, you're not really pulling the clutch in far enough and there's a way you can test that is pull your clutch in until it stops on your two fingers. Put the bike in gear. If the bike jumps forward and wants to take off a little bit, that means there's some tension in the motor and yeah, you've got a problem. You might need to tighten up your cable a little bit. Another thing you can do is pull the clutch in and put the bike in first gear. Now try to put the bike into neutral. If the bike will not go into neutral because there's a bind on the transmission, that means your clutch isn't disengaging. But if you do pull it in, like on this bike here, I pull the clutch into here, I can easily get the bike into neutral. Now, I've seen some comments out there about using this method and guys are like, oh, you're gonna burn through your clutch way faster. I can tell you right now, if you do that test I showed you, and if you can get your bike into neutral, you're gonna be fine. I've been riding motorcycles my whole life and I've never had a clutch wear out prematurely. Then I've been doing this method a very long time. So anyways, guys, give it a try. I think you'll like it. You can be like, wow, that's so much better. It's so much easier. I can ride better. I just, everything's more responsive. It's more of a performance way of clutching. Look at any professional motocross racer, sport bike racer. You'll see they're either using one finger or two. I guarantee it. All right, that is it for this quick tip. See you guys in the next one.